All right, everybody. So welcome to the Beer Run Bob channel. Welcome back. Uh, some may be wondering uh, what the hell happened to Beer Run. So February the 19th, I gave you a channel update. Um, I was dealing with some medical issues, very minor medical issues, getting ready to get back into recording. And uh, that was on February the 19th. And lo and behold, February the 21st, two days later, I have a heart attack uh, while being transported to the hospital. I went into cardiac arrest. They were able to bring me back fairly easily with some chest compressions and one electronic uh, hit on the chest. Um, so I uh, spent a week in the hospital, came home. Let's see, I came home, what, the 28th, uh, and then on March the 5th, I thought I was having another heart attack. I was taken to our local hospital. Uh, the hospital I went to the first time was our major, was a major hospital, which is our next, the bigger town closest to us, about 40 miles away. But on the second occurrence, when I thought I was having a heart attack, the ambulance crew chose to take me to the local hospital because they weren't concerned that it was a heart attack at that point. So they just took me into the local hospital. I sat in ER, hooked up to stuff for like seven hours, and they were about ready to release me. Uh, they took one more EKG reading, and they didn't like it. So it was like load them up and take them to the big hospital. So I'm not naming towns here. I am in Southern Oregon. So if you can figure that out, you can figure it out. But uh, they took me over to the main hospital where uh, they uh, admitted me. And the next day they determined that it wasn't an actual heart attack. The second time around, it was uh, an inflamed heart sack that gave me the sensation of a heart attack. So that was on the 5th. On the 7th, I see, yeah, the 7th, 6th, yeah, I was supposed to get out the 6th. So I was going to get out on the afternoon of the 6th. And uh, as we were going through all the discharge paperwork, I caught a dizzy spell. I, I was sitting on my bed at the time, real lightheaded, dizzy. I uh, didn't fall out of bed or anything. I uh, made the comment about it, and uh, apparently I had an AFib moment. Uh, heart had jumped out of rhythm. So the next day, I went in to have the AFib rectified with an electronic shock. So March the 8th, I was able to come home and... I've been home since then with uh, no heart issues per se, but my inflammation and joint pains have returned. Uh, here recently, I would say in the last month, I've been doing a little gaming here and there whenever my wrist would allow me to play. Uh, primarily, it's my left wrist that is bothering me now, which is the WASD keys. Uh, jumping around and the fingers and the joint don't like that quick movement and even when I'm feeling good yeah, the quick movement still is a little painful at times but uh, here recently in the last week or so I've been doing some uh, gaming with uh, Butch Cassidy uh, I'll, I'll link his channel in uh, the notes but I've been doing some uh, community server gaming with him uh been playing some seven days to die in subsistence and i've been doing uh some uh rising world and uh seven days to die on my own so uh i'm i'm thinking i'm feeling pretty good i can start to look to get back into doing some recordings uh of course when i left off back in uh early February, late January, we had left off uh, playing Escape the Pacific. I know there's been a lot of changes to that game. 
since we left it. So I think for right now, I may just leave Escape the Pacific as is. And when we do pick it back up, we will call it Season 2. Uh, Raft, Chapter 3. It should be out. <laughs> I was expecting it actually before Christmas last year. But that didn't happen. But I would hope it will be coming out here real soon. May 23rd is the four-year anniversary of Raft being put on Steam. So maybe that might be a date it gets released. Uh, we don't know. Uh, we'll find out <laughs> come that day if it works or if they drop it that day. Uh, but uh, definitely, definitely going to bring some Seven Days to Die to the channel. Uh, not too sure about ARC. Um, we may wait till ARC 2 is out. You know, I do like my ARC, but uh, I'm not too sure about that one. There's other games I can be playing. Uh, Green Hell, for sure. And um, I don't know. We, there's quite a few games out there. Of course, a lot of this is dependent on my wrist. Typically, in the late afternoon, evening hours, uh, my wrist is feeling a lot better. When I wake up in the mornings, that left wrist is just, it's like frozen. Uh, very, very painful to move, very painful to flex. I uh, get my drugs in me. And like today, I took my meds at 9, and it's almost 2 o'clock right now. And I, I'm, I'm, my hand's feeling pretty good right now. Uh, I think I could game at this moment, which I will be doing after I record post this to the channel. But uh, yeah, I wanted to jump on here and give you all a channel update because I know it's been what February, March, April, May, uh, almost three months since you all have heard anything from me. So uh, I've, I've still got uh, doctor's appointments and stuff for my cardio uh, rehab and uh, I've got other things going on medical in my life and that will that I'm going to have to address here in the next uh within the month we're going to be addressing those and I may even talk about them uh whether it be a standalone video or just talk about it while I'm doing a recording of a game um uh, don't know but uh be looking for some uh, gameplay uh, from at least uh, Seven Days to Die or Green Hell. Pretty quick here. Uh, I might even uh, might even do the, uh, Rising World. Rising World is a very calm, easy game to play. So I'm, I may d do a few of them. We'll see. And uh, be looking forward to uh, hearing from you all here soon. And uh, Hopefully, wrist does good and we can start getting this channel kicked off and going again. So, if I've always said, you do you, and I'll do me. We'll see you the next time. Later.